Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Carly and you're watching Sewscape. Today I have some lovely fabric and patterns to show you for everything that I'm planning on sewing in February. So as I am looking at the fabrics I have beside me, they are all looking very romantic, very pink. Oh, there's one more on the floor over here. This one was the missing link. So everything I'm planning on sewing is in the kind of pinky, purpley, romantic February colorway. So this month I got the February issue of Berta Style. I love it. Everything, I really love the styling in this magazine. They kind of did it differently this time and there are some men's patterns in here and they've extended the size range in a few of the like basic patterns. I feel like lots of pattern companies are doing that now so hopefully more patterns are available for everybody. So I'm actually kind of splitting it up between two Berta issues this month. I was, this was a little bit late. So I just really had the sojo and wanted to start cutting and sewing. So I looked to the, which issue is this? The June 2022 issue. Both of my favorite issues of Berta so far have been the June issues, the June 2021 and the June 2022. So maybe whatever they put in the June issue, that is what I am all about. I feel like it's very much my style. And I, get, I sew probably like 10 of the patterns in each of them. So they've been my go-to sewing magazine. So this, in the June issue, I'm gonna be sewing these trousers 111 here. I love the little tie front detail. I think that will be so cute. And I'm gonna be sewing that. I have it cut out already, but I have a little remnant of fabric to show you somewhere. So I'm gonna be sewing this out of this coral corduroy. In this light, it looks a little deeper of a pink, like more almost neutral, but in real life, it looks like very salmon pink. But I think, I don't know if it's totally my color. On camera, it looks pretty good. In real life, it looks a little wild, but I think this will be totally fine. I'm a little worried about corduroy because the last thrifted corduroy I put through the washing machine, um, just like pre-washing it before I made anything, it totally disintegrated. It just turned into powder. So it had like obviously some like dry rot or something. And so I've washed this. I just get so worried that I'm gonna bend over and whoosh, it just be ripped right, <laughs> right up the back. But I guess we'll see. I'm gonna sew it and see how it goes. But I think those will make some really cute pants. And continuing on with the pink fabrics, I found this at the thrift store right next to these, this. So I thought it would be a really cute outfit. It's gonna be very pink, but I thought for Valentine's Day this would be very cute. So this is just a really lightweight chiffon type polyester fabric. I've already cut out the top that I'm gonna be making. And that is this 119 t-shirt here. So just like a super basic darted t-shirt with a button closure in the back and some little flutter sleeves. So that is going to be the next thing I make. I really need some more kind of springy tops in my wardrobe and I think this is gonna fill a nice little gap in my wardrobe. And now we're moving on to this month's issue of Berta Style. So I really, like I made a lace button up last year and it was my favorite shirt that I've ever made and it was so cute I wore it all the time and then somehow my pants my button in my pants ripped the lace and I feel like I used to wear it every week and now I'm really missing that kind of white lacy top in my wardrobe so this pattern here this lovely blouse that is nice and kind of tight through the top of the arms and more like billowy and in the forearm area I think this will be really cute out of lace so there's the line drawing there so I'm thinking for the body and the sleeves I'll do lace and then for the 
collar, the button placket, and the snap placket on the sleeve, I'll just use like a, a white cotton. So I made a, a mock-up of a um, like Bridgerton inspired dress for my aunt and I have a whole bunch of this lace left over from it. And it's really good quality lace. I feel like someone maybe was making a wedding dress out of it. And then donated it because there was like 10 meters of this lace. It feels really nice against the skin. I bought a whole bunch of lace and some of it doesn't feel as nice. The last shirt was made out of a, um, a curtain and it definitely like felt very plasticky on my skin. And this feels much better. So I think that'll be really cute. And then I lined it with like a... A bed sheet so I'm just gonna cut that up and use that as the placket and the collar band so I think that will make a really cute top and I can't wait to have that in my wardrobe I just love the lace and then the last thing I'm planning on sewing this month is this lovely wrap dress here it's nice and drapey and it has a drop shoulder with these little cuffs and I love that so here is, oh, which way? There's the line drawing there. And I'm planning on making this out of this thrifted kind of polyester crepe that I have been kind of hanging on to for a year. It has like a variegated stripe pattern on it. So I feel like that'll look pretty cute kind of wrapped around. I just don't know if I should do the stripes like this vertical or if I do, should do them horizontal. I'm not sure. And then I thought like I would do the cuff a different color and then maybe the belt a different color so it like really utilized that stripey pattern, but I think that'll be really cute. I like this color on me, this kind of like whiny, deep, what would you call this, a maroon? But this is more like a pastel-y. Either way, I think it'll be really cute. And there you have it. That is everything I'm planning on sewing this month in February. I definitely feel like spring is in the air and I can't wait to start sewing my spring wardrobe and have a little bit more fun, bring a little more color into my life, try to like get rid of some of the black that is in my wardrobe and you know, spice it up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have the most wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.